What if you could have anyone's voice you could possibly imagine, including their pronunciation and mannerisms? While unconvincing voice changers have been a reality for decades now, recent advances in artificial intelligence applications have allowed developers to create an AI voice changer that's almost impossible to distinguish from the original voices. Even big Hollywood movies have taken advantage of this new technology already. In this video I'll tell you all about it and show you how to eventually use it. Imagine having the ability to change the gender of your voice, have Barack Obama's voice or transform into your favorite video game character for role-playing purposes without anyone ever realizing that you're using a voice changer. This may soon become a reality. Previous deepfaked voices were generally created by either using text-to-speech software in which you could barely control the voice's emotions or way of speech, or using a software that changes the pitch and EQ of someone's voice to make it slightly more similar to the voice that's supposed to be imitated. It seems like sorcery but the new AI service, ReSpeecher, offers really high-tech artificial intelligence. Just speak, and their voice conversion technology transforms your voice into another. But let me actually show you how good this is compared to previous attempts at cloning voices. Hey guys, here's a short demo of our voice conversion technology. We'll be converting my voice to the voice of Barack Obama. What we've said consistently is that there has to be a political settlement to bring about genuine peace in the region. The system catches the idiosyncrasies of how I say something each time I say it. I can say the same thing many times. The same thing many times. The same thing many times. And each time the recording will be correspondingly different. This makes voice conversion suitable for applications where the result should have the personality and range to emotion of a real person. Hi, I'm Grant, a co-founder of ReSpeecher. In a minute you'll see a video of Daniel Cohn, the head of Lyft Labs, and then you'll see a video where I speak in Daniel's voice. You are listening to the Ideas Elevated podcast of Comcast NBC Universal Lyft Labs. The system captures the idiosyncrasies of how I say something each time I say it. I can say the same thing many times, the same thing many times, the same thing many times. And each time the recording will be correspondingly different. Isn't that crazy good? Now compare this to monotone text to speech software or old voice changers which just modify certain aspects of your voice that I'll show you now. And that will give you a Megatron voice. Join the Decepticons, and I'll give you a cookie. So like that. That is quite the difference. Actually quite scary to imagine a world where the voice of your internet friends or people you meet in online games might be nothing like their actual voice. Aside from the pure awesomeness, this can also be a huge boost in people's privacy. For better or for worse of course. If you don't believe in this being useful or even real in the first place, Hollywood has taken a liking to it already and used it in the hit TV series, The Mandalorian, to add and change voices of existing or dead actors easily and quickly. Do you know which one and was it obvious when this software was used? Another awesome application for this would be localization. Imagine being able to dub a movie, tutorial or audiobook into any language you can imagine while still technically retaining the original voice actors instead of having to find and rent voice actors that just sort of sound like the original one. As a German that had to grow up with some really badly dubbed TV shows, this sure is something I'm really excited about even if our standard of dubbing is relatively high compared to other countries. But who is behind this never-before-seen invention? Ukrainian-founded AI startup Respeecher has landed a $1.5 million in funding for its voice transformation and transfer technology aimed at the entertainment industry. The round was led by FF Venture Capital, with participation from Acrobatter Ventures, ICU Ventures, Network VC, and several angel investors. Kiev-based Respeecher provides an AI-based toolkit to change recorded voice or transfer the voice of one person to another. Prior to the latest funding round, Respeecher raised about $120,000 as part of the program at the Techstars Accelerator in Philadelphia. Respeecher claims that its technology is already being used by content creators, while its customer list supposedly includes one of Hollywood's largest film studios, which has used the technology in a global blockbuster. In addition to the entertainment industry, the Ukrainian startup is also looking to expand to the call center market. 
Deepfakes for good is an attractive area to explore, said Bog Godska, founder of Acrobat Ventures. The Respeacher team knows extremely well how to adapt to trends and has the full-stack tech stamina to optimize fast across various demand sectors. We're excited and proud to ride this wave together with Respeacher's voice wizards. So now, after you've probably been convinced about how awesome and revolutionary this new software is, you might wonder how you could start using it at this very moment. Well, while you're technically able to use it right now, you currently have to contact them first with a reason for what you want to use this powerful technology to deter malicious users. That part is a little unfortunate but it's quite obvious why they're doing this. The ability to steal anyone's voice and make them say anything you want without the ability for outsiders to distinguish the fake from the original cannot end well. But the thing is, it's completely inevitable that a technology such as this is going to become public and usable by anyone with a computer or even a phone in the future. And what happens when that day comes? Any internet personality that doesn't show their face and only talks over videos would be susceptible to people copying their voice and saying brand tarnishing things. At least with people that show themselves in front of cameras, it's a bit more difficult for the average person to create a convincing deepfake of them. Scammers acting like they're women could also have a field day with this software and make their act even more convincing. Maybe Respeacher giving regulators and the general public a head start in starting discussions about how to deal with this is actually the right thing to do in the end. But it's clear where this is going to go in the near future. It'll also be quite interesting to see how this software is going to change the landscape of voice actors. I can see the profession of voice actors splitting into two sections. First of all, people that provide their voices and secondly, the people that actually speak lines that then get turned into the first voice actor's voice. Who of those is going to get the better end of the stick is pretty unclear at the moment but I guess we'll find out soon enough. One thing is for sure. People that regularly need voice actors are definitely going to enjoy this easy and manageable way of directing. So what is your opinion on the Respeacher software? Should software like this be forbidden or do you think there's no chance of it not falling into bad people's hands anyway? And if you got to use it without limit, whose voice would you like to use and for what purpose? Please tell me in the comments below. I'd love to have discussions with you about it. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.